This time we're going to connect to the database cloud instance using SSH tunneling. So when your database um, instance is created, only port 22 is open for security purposes, but you can create an SSH tunnel to connect security to the database and its tools. So here we'll use port forwarding to connect from the local PC browser to the Enterprise Manager Express tool in the database instance that comes by default with the database instance. So what we need for this process is an SSH key pair. So you would have uploaded the public key when you created the instance and then the admin password that you set when you created the instance. And this is to log on to the Enterprise Manager Express. And we also need the SID. We can get that in here if we go into the console. And then just click on the database itself. So this is the database we're interested in. And from here, we can take, we just need the, the public IP of the instance, the database instance, port number, the SID is the system ID, and uh, that's it basically. So the first step is to open up PuTTY and enter the public IP of the instance. So you can see it from here, it's 129.152.131.10. So next we can go to the data tab, and we can enter Oracle here. As default username or OPC. OPC has root access by using the sudo commands. We'll go with, uh, OPC for a moment and then under SSH we need to just tick don't start up a shell or a command at all because we don't need that. We're just creating a tunnel here in this instance and then under SSH auth we need to upload the PPK file. So this PPK file matches the the public key key uploaded when you created the database instance. So now we select tunnels and we're going to enter in the source port here is going to be any port on your machine but it's usually best just to call it the same port as the destination port. So in this case we're going to connect to Enterprise Manager Express which whose default port is 5500 and then we're going to um, the destination port is the IP of our database in Manager Express port. So with local and auto selected here, just hit add and then we just go back to session and we're going to save this session so you can call it something you remember like EM Express maybe. And then hit save. So once that's saved we can open up this anytime and just we need to leave this open, it'll prompt you for this confirmation because it's the first time SSH and in and the tunnel will be set up here and there's no prompt, command prompt but we just need to leave this running in the background to connect to the Enterprise Manager Express so, so once that's running, we can leave that running in the background. Just make sure you don't close it, you can minimize it. And then the next thing we need to do is open up a browser window. So in the browser on your local machine, just enter in this uh, URL here. So it's localhost, then the port, uh, the port number for Enterprise Manager Express. And this will just hit enter. And this is connecting through the SSH tunnel. So to log on, it's the admin is system, or the username is system, and the password is the admin password you set when you created the database instance. So once we enter that, just to log in. So we're logged in as system, and we've got everything we need here to look after our database cloud instance.